Hi, Soling Sailors. This is Derry Mount. I wanted to give a better overview of how this rubber band hat seal works. I posted one on the forum before, but it was pretty quick and on the lake side, but wanted to do one uh, offering a little bit better detail. The two rubber bands, and they must be used, just to use the big one without the little one, just won't make it happen. You might luck out with a little less water, but uh, the lower one assures that you've got a good seal. This one installs on the boat, stays there. This one is every time you're sailing um, in heavy wind or whatever, if you know you're going to have the rail down. The hatches just don't seal that well on these boats by themselves, and they do need some help. So we'll uh, go at it. This first rubber band is about a quarter inch wide. You can again see the comparison on them. And the mailman, when we get a lot of mail, they just throw these around them so we get them and they're as easily to obtain it off the supplier or wherever. But to install that, uh, let's turn GoPro on here. To install that, you want to run that down as close to the deck as possible and have the tension fairly even if you can kind of level it out but use the nails or whatever but you want that all the way down now that get off until a while and end up having a problem later on or it looks like it one will stay there until uh, it gets bad. You can definitely get a season out of one rubber band and uh, I probably had one on there for over a year uh, real easy but pull one off every now and then and put a fresh one on. Nothing hard to do but at least then you know you've got a good lower lip on there. The hatch cover uh, it basically goes down only to where it's touching the upper portion of that first rubber band. And just snug it down, don't try forcing it anymore uh, with pressure or seeing how tight you can get it. Once it's just on there, it's not going to depart you. And the big guy, if they're new, you might want to stretch them out a few times. Uh, they will oxidize over the year and, and get a little different in appearance and you'll notice that they stretch some. Uh, you can probably at least get a season out of one of these, if not uh, buy, grab a new one because they're relatively low cost from Amazon. The ones I don't use, I always carry a couple spare in my boat bag, but the ones I don't use I keep in the refrigerator and they'll last indefinitely in there. To install this one. Uh, it's easy without the mask on, that's for sure. But I don't find them that difficult, uh, even whenever you've got sails on them. If uh, hands get a little wet, that can make a diff, but they still go on pretty easy. You want to make sure that seal is all, that rubber band is all the way down to ensure the best possible seal. And I always check it all the way around because it's easy to, where you're not looking, to have it lift up a little. That, the way that's on there right now, I uh, wouldn't even give it a, it's ready to go, wouldn't give it a second thought. I'll take the GoPro and we'll run around here a little and so I can show you just what that looks like. So you can get an eye of that, and want to I'll lift this up on this side and walk this around the hatch so you can see what it's looking like. You can see underneath how the hatch is just down to the top of that first installed rubber band. And that's pretty much it on the rubber band. Uh, I've tried a lot of different seals over the years and this one works without a doubt. I wanted to show a couple of other items on the boat but 
Uh, many people have asked me about the, my Fairleys. I use a Grutner lower uh, tube. It's stainless steel, has real nice backing accessories with it. And then the top, I've placed a small washer with a one and a half millimeter ferrule. And I buy the washer and, and ferrules from sales, etc. But that's about as tight as it is. I use 100 pound Spectra on my sheets and all of the rigging that I use. Uh, if I'm not using wire, it's 100 pound Spectra. But uh, if the bolt totally goes under, you'll get a little bit in there, but you won't get any in the hatch. Uh, another item I have I wanted to show this little window here. I have three LEDs behind it. It's one of the little strips that you can buy from the uh, overseas location. I think they're like buck ninety eight two dollars. And it has three green LEDs and three red. And as long as there's three greens, one of the three green are burning, it's okay. You've got enough battery. And I've had mine down, uh, I can see the three in there, and it's been on the third, and that's been after sailing for several hours. But the first one will burn when battery's up, then second one will burn when it starts losing, then the third, and I don't have any red showing, because if I can't see any green, that means it's in the red. But I can sail the boat by shore and take a peek at it. If I see a green, I know I'm good. Don't have to worry about pulling it out. And I've run this boat for over three hours and still had green showing. So they, it, it's nice to have that visual on there rather than just doing it by the safety and thinking we've got to pull it and put one in. I'm going to plug the battery in here a minute and then I'll show you what the LED looks like. Just a, nothing super uh, sophisticated, just a little burning green light. Whoops, there we go. So you can see the green light and there's the first one's burning we go to the second and then the third as mentioned <clears throat> but just a little accessory that's nice to have not necessary but uh, again it gives you a quick visual okay I guess that's it on the hatch seal and if there's any questions about anything else uh, drop me an email and I'll definitely try and provide you some input or how I do it or if I can find out from another one in our club if uh, they have a better way of doing it, we'll definitely share it with you. Thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.